Vapors, Vaping Cowboy here. Uh, just doing a quick video, uh, last minute actually, because uh, I'm about ready to hit out the door and, and go to my wedding. So uh, that's why I'm all in this, in this tux here. So uh, this is going to be just real quick and short, straight to the point. This is the, the Zenith version 2. I got this from Vaping Walrus. Uh, we're just going to go up close, go over a little bit of the aspects, and then uh, and then we'll come back out, vape on it a few times, and then we'll then I'll let you know what my thoughts are. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, this portion it's up and close with uh, the Cy Green uh, Zenith V2. This I got uh, from VapingWalrus.com, and uh, just a little bit about this this RDA here. It's 22 millimeters in diameter. It has a Dilleran, a Dilleran insulator on top cap to hold in heat and accentuate the flavor. It has big uh, big slits in the post to accommodate uh, larger wires. Uh, the machined negative posts out of the base that provides better conductivity and posts won't turn or move. Uh, it has a nice deep engraved logo. It's silver plated copper 510 connections. The airflow control ring can run in dual or single coil mode. Uh, each single one of these has a serial number and the cost for this RDA is $22.49 and then obviously you're going to have to have uh, shipping and handling and, and that stuff unless you have orders over uh, $35 and it's free from the vapingwalrus.com. So we'll just dig into this and uh, just so you know that uh, I'm actually recording this part early by the time the video comes out of I'll have used this for a while, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so it comes in this nice little box here. Uh, you see the side green there. It's a this one's stainless steel. You got the Zenith logo on the side there, and you got a bunch of. Uh, other stuff there, another Zenith there, same thing, made in China down there. So there we go. Let's open her up. She'll open for me. Okay. All right. So right here, you see that uh, this one's a brass. This is the version I got. They got a brass, and then they have a copper version as well. You got a little box of little box of goodies in here as well. If I can get them out. All right, so you have the you have an Allen wrench for the post heads, and it comes with uh, two coils there. Uh, no wicking or anything like that. So that's just something that comes with this. And this is what we're after right here. Zenith version two. Okay, so let's see if we can focus in on this. No, you can't. Anyway, right down here it says Zenith. It's engraved in there. And that's all it has on there. And then the bottom here, you have your serial number. And then it says MII. And then. This one is a turnable one, which is awesome. This uh, is just like the uh, the magma from Paradigm. So we'll get up close here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so here we have our deck. It's got uh, two O-rings down here. Up in here, you can see the slits in the posts that uh, have a have the really big openings in there. It has a little lip for on the deck uh, to hold the juices in. Then um, there's that 510 connection as I showed earlier. Let's unscrew one of these and see how big they are. Yeah, that's. A, let's see if I can focus. Yeah, that's a pretty. It's a pretty big opening on this Zenith. Uh, version 2. This is a clone by the way. 
in case you were wondering because uh, normally these go for a lot more than uh, 2249 so but uh, this should ac accommodate any number of builds no matter what wire you're using up to a certain extent you know and then down here this is your ring for the airflow control and then here's the the other version let's take this out this is I got the brass version this thing does not want to focus so you know that's just your uh, standard ring there put that off to the side we'll take a look at the uh, at the collar here having an awful time with this thing zooming in and focusing apologize for that but there's your uh, one slit to the collar there's another one this is the one for uh, single coil mode as you can tell right there because you can't see all the way through like you can on this side that's dual coil mode there if you're gonna if you're gonna go that route so but uh, it's, it's pretty nice there and then we got uh, this is your very top cap with the with your Delarin here your Delarin that uh, keeps the heat in accentuates the flavor so there you have it I'll put this back together here and then uh, always make sure say you just have your coil here and you have a coil here and a coil here you're gonna want to line these holes up with the uh, with where the coils are at and then you got your your ring here this is where you uh, you can adjust your airflow and that's on both sides so if you're using a if you're using single coil mode that one there we'll have her wide open we'll flip her around nothing there so that's single coil mode so then you just put your top cap back on. And the nice thing about this is it screws down. I like the screw down type, like a look on the magma that I have. Uh, that I did a review on a few few videos ago. So uh, yeah, there you have it. This is Zenith uh, version two. Uh, we'll go back out to a uh, normal view here. Take a couple vapes on it, and then I'll give you my thoughts. And uh, just so you know that. Uh, by the time this video is released, you will uh, all have used it for a while, and then I can give you my pure and honest thoughts on it. So uh, uh, we'll go out to normal view right now. All right, we're back outside since it is actually a nice day out. So uh, we just got back from the up and close of the Zenith V2 from Vaping Walrus. Uh, I, as I said in the video that I did pre-record the up and close part because I wanted to use it for a while. That way, if I came across any any cons or uh, pros that I didn't cover when just when you first get a device because normally your your judgment is a little is a little hazy in my opinion because if you do it right away then uh, then it's like oh this thing's so great because you're all pumped up because you got a new RDA or or whatever device you get uh, you're all pumped up about it so instead of having to do an updated video or whatnot I've been uh, I've been vaping on this for a little over a week now so and so my final judgment on this is this is an excellent device Yes, it is a clone, but it is very excellent. It's like a one-to-one -to, -one to it. Uh, it's got excellent engraving, as you saw inside the inside the up close personal. Uh, I put the the brass uh, ring around it instead of the standard stainless because I just like the, the color uh, difference in the breakup. That way, it's not just one, all one color. Uh, would I recommend this to other people? Yes, but uh, the one thing I do have to say is it does not have the same flavor as the magma from uh, Paradigm, uh, the one that I did a video on a few videos ago. So if you haven't checked that out, you can check that out. But uh, would I recommend this other people? Yes. It's a very excellent RDA and uh, actually what I'm what I have in this one here, uh, what I'm vaping on today and actually tonight is going to be the Cherry Cola from Mount Pocono Vapes. And yes, this is a big bottle. Mount Pocono Vapes, if you don't know, and uh, one of my last videos, they now have the 30 milliliter bottles, so hurry up, rush, go get some, uh, because 
the, their, their business is picking up. So the faster you get your order in, the faster you're going to get it. So uh, excellent device. I actually have the Mundy, Mundy Magic Wire coil in this, the single coil, and it's at uh, 0.6 ohms, and it is, it's fantastic. So uh, awesome job there, uh, Mr. Mundy. Uh, for coming up with that design. Uh, just tr try that out on, on this RDA and it's absolutely fantastic. So thank you. Uh, thank you for everyone for watching and thanks for uh, thanks for just uh, subscribing and, and listening to what I have to say. So this is the Vaping Cowboy Zenith V2 from VapingWalrus.com. So just remember, keep vaping hard my friends and when I come back I'll be a married man. We'll see you again.